All right, guys. While I'm remaking some videos for my new channel, uh, I figured I'd just go ahead and make one more tonight and show a quick overview of my heat treating oven. Uh, I kind of designed and made this myself from scratch, uh, just using some various resources on the internet. Uh, I was only able to source a handful of things locally. Uh, most of it I had to order online. Uh, the fire bricks I was actually fortunate enough to source locally at a local refractory. They had some leftovers from a kiln build. Uh, so I was able to save quite a bit of money versus shipping uh, so many bricks uh, from the nearest supplier that I could find. Uh, just to give a quick overview, uh, I don't have specific dimensions on this. Uh, maybe I can find a ruler real quick. Uh, we're at about eight inches wide by five and a half inches tall. And if I recall correctly, this is about uh, 18 to 20 inches deep. Uh, for the element, we have canthal wire. Uh, this came pre-coiled. I stretched it out myself. Uh, I mortared all of the bricks together uh, except for where the top is, just in case I ever need to remove this to get to the wire. I wanted to make it easier. Uh, so I went ahead and made a gasket out of ceramic fiber insulation and uh, just set that on top. But uh, all the other bricks, including the mass for the door, uh, is uh, soft fire brick. Uh, and then I have a little gasket here to help seal the heat in. Uh, ideally, and something I do plan to do in the future, uh, I would have a mild steel sheet shell made. Uh, for something I can mount the door to and have something I can open and close, uh, whether it's hinged on the left or right or on the bottom to open it like so. And I would also like to elevate it off of my table a few inches as well. But uh, that's basically uh, the overall view. Uh, I do have some insulation wrapped around the outside just to help buffer the heat. Uh, although the outside really doesn't get overly hot, uh, that's just kind of to help ensure uh, so that I can uh, put things on top of it if I need to. And it might even help hold the heat in a little bit. Uh, as far as the controls go, I made this control box myself as well. Uh, this is wired to 220. Uh, this is a 3000 watt Canthal element, by the way, uh, at 220 volts. And uh, that's wired directly to the spring uh, through a relay. And uh, the original overview I had on my Bass Thump and Tweon channel, that's B-A-S-S-T-H-U-M-P-I-N-T-W-I-O-N. -S -S uh, I had taken the top off and shown the insides. I don't think I'm going to do that in this video. Uh, but as far as the insides go, it's just the controller. Uh, I have a solid state relay uh, to control the voltage and the uh, temperature output there. Uh, I have a couple switches uh, as well as power indicators. Uh, that's the power on and this is the coil on. It's the green light. And We'll go ahead and fire this up and show you that. Uh, I did have it on for a couple seconds earlier so as you can see it is currently at 79 degrees. Uh, set for 1475 which is what I heat treat my 1095 at. Uh, but as far as the wires you see, uh, we just have some 14 gauge. Uh, I should probably change that to 12 gauge just to give a little more room, but that is sufficient for the current draw. Uh, and I have those on uh, male and female clips there so I can detach that if needed and uh, completely separate my power supply uh, if I need to work on it or anything. Uh, and then we have the dryer cord for the power, uh, as well as uh, the braided uh, thermocouple cord. And that's a K-type thermocouple, which should be good for around uh, 2300 degrees or more. Uh, as you can see, it's already heating up pretty fast. We're at about 156 or 163 right now. Uh, I can already feel the heat from here. 
and uh, those will start glowing pretty bright here fairly soon when they'll start heating up. Uh, and then inside that I just have a uh, cut off from a fire brick that I use to uh, elevate my knives when I'm heat treating. Uh, but that's pretty much the basic overview. Uh, as far as controlling temperature goes, uh, the controller works by uh, energizing the coil and de-energizing it uh, using a computer. Uh, and as it gets hot enough, it'll cut the current off. When it starts to drop temperatures, it'll turn it back on, back off, back on, and so forth. Uh, and it's very accurate. Uh, this will hold 1475 exactly, uh, fairly steadily, give or take one or two degrees, uh, if the door is closed. Uh, once I open the door, the temperature will start dropping pretty rapidly uh, before it can catch back up. But uh, once the door is closed again, it does pick up pretty fast. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, I did wire safeties into this, so there are some fuses uh, in the back of this as well, both for the controller and the coil. And uh, I do have some plans that I've put together for this. Uh, I'm really just waiting for uh, the shell to be made. I need to get that fabricated, uh, whether I do it for myself or have someone else do it. But once I get kind of a completed product that I would be happy with, uh, I'm going to get some plans together. They're almost done for the most part uh, as far as a how-to uh, that shows pretty much every step in building this uh, from the techniques used to build it, the materials used, to even where to source the materials and tips on that. Uh, so they're very in-depth plans. I uh, spent many hours putting them together and uh, much thought to make them as understandable as possible. So, uh, trying to get a product together, uh, complete with pictures, uh, maybe even some video, and I'll probably uh, eventually get that all onto a DVD or something similar, uh, which I would like to sell on my website uh, once I get that loaded up. Uh, but again, I don't really want to sell the plans uh, in, with this oven in this state. I would like to get it completely finished and closed up. Uh, although this is very effective as is, I do use this uh, quite a bit to heat treat blades and it works uh, fantastically. But I uh, just wanted to give a quick overview, uh, talk about the plans I was making. Uh, as you can see, just within a couple minutes, we're already at 600 degrees, and that's with the door open. Uh, had I closed it, it'd probably be up quite a bit higher. But uh, you can see it's glowing pretty hot in there. And uh, I do need to push the wire back in in a couple spots. Not that it's hurting anything, but uh, I did need to staple that in. Uh, actually using this wire here, uh, which I believe is canthal wire uh, in an unspringy state. And uh, that makes very effective staples to hold your element in. But uh, that's pretty much it for the overview on my oven. Uh, if you'd like to see kind of a view of the insides, uh, definitely go to the channel, my old channel that I mentioned uh, a little bit earlier, and you can see another overview of basically the same information. But I just wanted to get this on my new channel for newer people uh, who have not subscribed to me yet. So uh, that's it, the AR Knives heat treating oven works very well uh, and I saved a considerable amount of money uh, in building this on my, by myself. Uh, I would say I have less than six hundred dollars in this all together uh, versus uh, more than a thousand uh, for one of the more basic heat treating ovens on the market. So that's that. Uh, as always thanks for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and or subscribe if you've not already. And there are plenty more knife making videos and other related things to come, so stay tuned.